where um, starting from uh, the planning uh, and the engineering phase at the beginning of the project, uh, um, all the planning is done in detail and in addition to the 3D model, uh, we moved to a 4D model where the planning is linked with uh, uh, the technical side of the 3D model and all activities at site uh, before their action are planned in detail with uh, the availability of material and engineering in manner that the efficiency at site uh, is drastically changed with this new technique. We experienced in the past uh, uh, delay because of uh, non-clear scope of erection of the subcontractor. Uh, with this technique we know which area we can start to work, we have the front work open and we know uh, how we can maximize the efficiency of the subcontractor. We have experienced in the last uh, uh, 10 years uh, more and more big project, jumbo project, where we have also something like uh, 60,000 people at site, of course divided in different uh, sub-package, but managing 60,000 people is like managing a small town in logistic, from a logistic point of view. Then of course we have to give the work and if we are not able to give the work to do, we have 60,000 people that are very inefficient. So this technique that is uh, nowadays uh, coming common in, in the world is helping on managing the work in a way that when the job is a giant job, uh, everyone knows what to do and when to do. So. Uh, this is opening the door also to the other uh, technique that is the modularization. We are used to make projects uh, either at plus 40 degrees in the desert or minus 40 degrees in Siberia. And it's not really nice to be out and work on the site all day uh, with this environmental condition. So if we can uh, prefabricate uh, the material and send modules already prefabricated at site, we will change also the lifestyles of the people. And nowadays, this is uh, uh, applied in uh, many projects uh, in uh, the Arctic area of, uh, of Russia, but also in USA. And this technique is also uh, starting to be applied uh, also in the Middle East, in the desert area. So, we are moving to new techniques that uh, um, where WP is the base of uh, all this uh, uh, future work that we will see uh, in the next coming uh, three, four years. To make a project today in Russia, we need to be very well integrated uh, with the RDIs. Uh, in other side of the world, in the Middle East, this is not really required, but in Russia it is. And to make the project in Russia means that uh, we, are not, we don't have to be Italian, we have to be Russian. And we are. We are there since uh, 1933. And, uh, and we developed in all these years our route inside uh, the country. And we know very well how to work with uh, RDIs. And today the difference is uh, how we can make the engineering uh, in Russia. Uh, then, of course, we have a common point. Uh, who are serving the project? Who are giving the services to the project? And a common goal in everywhere in the world is how we put the project uh, 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 in respect to the stakeholder. We have seen that when the project is at the center and all stakeholders are giving the services to the project, uh, the project is going well and is succeeding in a time and cost budget. Uh, where we focus more on the 
client or on the subcontractor or on the vendor, uh, the project uh, is not ending uh, as we wish. So um, the recommendation that we have to our people around the world is keep this concept, keep the project at the center and put in the center the problem of the project to be resolved for, from all stakeholders that are uh, giving the services.